to do a pick a card reading. Today, the question is, what judgment is being called on this relationship? What is the universe doing? What would they stepping in? What judgment are they calling, Sony? Need to know. Need to know. Need to know. So we're gonna find out because you know he knows he is shit here in the Braveheart tribe. I missed you guys. Oh, it's been such a whirlwind. Been in quarantine for forever. Maybe 800 years. Way longer than Tom Hanks on Castaway. I've been in quarantine way long, I'm just convinced. So can nobody convince me otherwise? Can't nobody hold me down. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. Surgery is postponed. Thank you for everyone who has donated, who continues to donate, who will donate, who has bought something, who is whatever the case may have been. Surgery is postponed, still cannot schedule it because the hospital is not allowing it right now. So it will be a little bit. And coincidentally, my surgery was scheduled for April the 10th. I have not been doing well, so send me some good vibrations. I've been in excruciating pain the last few days. I have, I have not been doing well at all. So needless to say, I'm in and out. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for staying down because y'all know it's a marathon, but we're going to make it through. You know, it ain't a sprint. It's a marathon. So I'm going to push on through. Keep on pushing. And y'all keep pushing and I'm going to keep pushing and we'll eventually get there. We don't get there. But thank you guys for your heart, for your well-being, the emails, just checking in on me um just purchasing things because you know i'm raising money for my surgery still you know this could be the universe's way of just giving me more time to raise more money which is great thank you thank you thank you thank you and thank you for putting up with my absence having said all that uh this is a general reading guys the rules ain't changed the day may have changed we uh, coming out of lockout slow or lockdown slowly but surely but the rules ain't changed this is a general reading may not resonate with everyone should it resonate with you please like share subscribe to the channel give me that thumbs up because you too be tripping 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 if it doesn't fit don't force it if it doesn't fit, don't force it. Don't drop your jive ass down in my comments and tell me how it doesn't fit or how I aggravated you or whatever. You either gonna get blocked, gone off on, or something will happen, I promise you. Because the Braveheart tribe, we're a different kind of tribe now. Because we're real, right? So if it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with your heart and your soul. Leave everything else on the dance floor and moonwalk your job ass away from it, please and thank you. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, my information is down below. If you would like to book a life coaching session with me, because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school for life coaching, just didn't put those initials at the end of my name. I had to study for that shit and it was hard. Let me tell you, it was really hard. It was so hard, so tired. If you like to donate to the channel, the link for that is down below as well. If you're interested in about 90% of the decks that I use on this channel, you can find them in an Amazon wish list. All of them but the indie decks, and I do have quite a bit of indie decks. Don't know the names of them because I keep my cards in cloths. So yeah, that's that. Don't even waste your time going to my comments asking me what deck was what. I'm not going to rewatch the video to tell you and rethink. And there's a lot that goes into that, okay? It ain't personal. It's me. You blame me. You, you can blame it on the rain. Blame it on the rain. It was falling, falling. You got to blame it on something. Shit. And if you would like to... Send any tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, anything like that. You guys have sent me healing books. You guys are like the greatest. I still have some gifts that were sent to me. I believe Christine sent me something I haven't opened yet. And Joy, pump it up, pump it up. I got to go pick that up. Uh, a couple of people. So yeah, I'm just moving slow because I am in a tough spot right now, guys. So bear with me. Um, it's not that I haven't received it or am not 
thankful or grateful for it. I just haven't opened it or gone to get it yet just because, you know, I'm trying, I'm focusing on breathing right now. And breathing can be difficult some days because the tumors get big and inflammated and whew. Anyway, this ain't about me. This is about this damn relationship and what judgment is being called on this connection. We got three choices before us. Choice number one is delight. Choice number two is happiness. And choice number three is abundance. So we have delight, we have happiness, and we have abundance. Once again, keep in mind, this is a general reading, may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. I have found a shitload of readers that I am in love with right now. The majority of them have below a thousand subscribers. I think Joy um, just reached a thousand. But just brand new people that we need to go support. So drop down, check them out because they're really dope. And leave our little stamp, Blue Heart Lion Blue Heart. Just to let them know that we don't just support the Braveheart tribe. We support everyone who's authentic, who is of love, and who helps us, right? Find the clarity that we need in our own personal relationships in life. So support them, support them, support them. And stop supporting these people that be hooking y'all, trying to get y'all to purchase shit and shit because don't nothing ever be right. And they always going through a spiritual transformation and opening oh, and now I watch I say that and all these be about that. But like they, shit don't never move. It's always stagnant and they want you to come to Stonehenge and shit. Stop supporting those people, man. Seriously, like support authentic people that are truly doing this from the heart and putting everything that they can into it because that matters that matters okay so on the count of three we're going to take our deep breath one two three pick your card is it going to be delight is it going to be happiness or is it going to be abundance i hope you chose because we about to move and it's got to be something. Hmm. All right, universe. People who chose delight. What judgment is being called on this connection? What judgment is being called on this connection, universe? Whoa. Meaning it came out quick. Starting with the justice. Nice wig you got there. How you get your hair done and you've been on lockdown? That's all I want to know. Hmm. What judgment is being called on this connection? We have the page of swords. What judgment is being called on this connection universe? Moon card, two major arcanas. What judgment is being called on this connection? Ha 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 ha. Les pois. Zo, les pois zo. All right, two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Gonna pull some oracle cards. What judgment is being called on this connection, universe? What judgment is being called on this connection? Ooh, I knew it. Just so done. Just so done with your funky ass and your bullshit, brother. Talking again at the bottom of the deck. Universe, we ain't done, Braveheart Tribe. We nosy as shit. What judgment is being called in this connection, universe? What judgment? Got the child. The child. See you at the crossroads so you don't get lonely. What judgment is being called on this connection, universe? What's just too many? Way too many. What judgment is being called on this connection universe? Please be as clear as possible. What judgment is being called on this connection universe? Too many. I'm going to take them no. All right. Three cards fell out. We have, we will reconcile within a week. I know you hope we will. I will make this up to you. 
I'll make love to you. Are you ready to build a life together? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> I see where this is going and I don't blame you for leaving me. Yeah, judgment that's being called is somebody is watching you. It always feels like somebody's watching me. They watching your ass because they see you being happy and free and flying. They see you getting your wings back. They see you remembering. I had these wings this whole damn time and I've been sitting in this grass with your ass when I could have been flying. Pray with me, us. So balance is being brought back into this connection. This person keeps an eye on you. Um, I, I would caution you, don't try to overdo it. Don't, don't be posting stuff up on Instagram. Don't be doing it for the gram. Don't be doing it for Facebook. Don't go out of your way. Like stay authentic because right now there's a purity about this with that child card. Um, some of you may have children and they miss your children or child or vice versa. Maybe you got introduced to their child or something like that. And, and you miss that interaction. You miss hearing about them because I feel like if children are involved in this situation, I feel like um, whoever has a child is a good parent, like a really good parent. Um, and this child could have um, come from a divorce of sorts, but just stay authentic. I just feel like you got sick of this person's bullshit. I feel like this person was always juggling things, was always trying to weigh up options, was always making everything else a priority but you. And now this person is, is feeling like a fool, feeling like a fool, a big one, huge one. You know, this person held in how they truly felt. They weren't authentic with you. And I feel like you were authentic with them from rip right? And so they miss the connection. They miss the fire. They miss the spark and they don't blame you for leaving them. Um, this person is considering coming back to you. This person is trying to figure out how to though. So you have the card. We will reconcile within a week. Mm, so don't get everybody who watching this. It could be 2000 of y'all watching read number one. That doesn't mean 2000 of y'all gonna reconcile with this person in a week. But all of these cards are in alignment with one another. So there's no contradiction. And this deck that I've created has some contradictions in it. It'll throw you for a loop, trust me. So your person has finally made up in their mind that they are ready to come back to you. And I feel that when they come back to you, they'll want more. They'll want to take this to the next level. But your person has some healing to do. You all right now are not aligned because your person is still keeping secrets. Your person is seeing you. They see you moving on with your life. And I feel that this is true about you. Like it's, I don't feel like you doing that part for the gram. I feel like you got fed up with this person holding so much back and being emotionally unavailable and prioritizing everything but you and really not solidifying this relationship. I feel like for the majority of you all, there was no true, will you go with me? Will you be my boyfriend? Will you be my girlfriend? Yes, no, or maybe. Yeah, 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 of course I if you ask and the answer is yes you hear me come on now if you it you be, before you can even get it out yet you hear me so you just got tired you got tired and so i do feel that communication is on the horizon but i feel that this person is currently afraid to approach you because they are scared that you have truly moved on and that there is no coming back from whatever they've done to you because I feel like it's big. And that's what the judgment is that has been called in this relationship. This person has got to face themselves and they've got to face what they've done, how they took you for granted. They got to go through the fire to the limit to the walls. You hear me? For a chance to be with you, I gladly take it all. See, you did that at first, but now they got to come with that. They got to shock a con your ass now. The tables have turned. And that is the judgment. And I wish I had a gravel right now. I said a gravel, a gavel. Oh, Lord, slow down. Slow down, son. You're killing me. So let's see. I just want to clarify real quick. Give me one card for this moon universe. What secrets are they holding back? One card for the moon. What secrets? If, if this is what I think it is, 
So we have the justice again. So they want to, again, bring balance back into this, but they are afraid that you are going to reject them because you really got bored with this. Let's look at this for a second. You got bored with this bullshit. See, they want to come back and they feel bad about everything that they put you through. The lies, the cheating, the, the sneaking away, the running away from the feelings, just being emotionally unavailable. And I feel that this first one is talking about a separation. The first justice card is talking about a separation, but I feel like that second one is really talking about a coming together. There can be a lot of um, legal matters happening in your person's life. I just feel like when you left, when you flew away, their life fell apart. Fly away, fall apart. That's what the fuck you get. Because you, when something is like, I shouldn't say it like that because y'all know that's not me. But what I'm saying is when something is divinely aligned with you and when the universe brings you something so precious and you don't take care of it, Karma is the rule about getting what you get. It's not about bad shit happening to you. It's not about all good shit happening to you. It's about what you give into the universe is what comes back to your ass. It's like a boomerang. Is you going to get knocked in the head or is you going to catch it? They got knocked in the head. They got knocked in the head. And this is not for any of us to be feeling holier than thou. Because I really feel in your heart of hearts, you really are hurt by what they did to you. This was, this was, it's not right, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it anyway. You just got to the point where it was like, I can't continue to allow myself to settle for this foolishness. I honor you. And I need you to honor me too. And if that can't happen, I have to go. I don't feel like this was an easy decision for you to finally come to. But you had to come to it. And it's been a wake-up call for this person. So they are... <laughs> they are realizing. They Look how he's staring at her. You see his eyes. Look how he's staring at her. She got on all that red and that crown. Yeah, I ain't got to juggle things no more. I ain't got to try to figure out what I want no more. I'm looking closely and I'm thinking, baby, come back. And I want to come back. I want to come back because I don't want to be at these crossroads. So let me cut out all this shit that I done created in my life. All these burdens that I've been carrying around. Your person is going to reach out to you. Reach out and touch. They going to come, baby. Woo on the kick drum, come, come. Hey, person, innovate, come, come. On the kick drum, yeah, they coming. Because they want that old thing back. They want that two of cups. They want that alignment. They want that gift from the universe. Need it back. Need it back. I can't do this without you. I don't, it's not even, I can't do this without you. I don't want to do this without you. When you choose someone, And that's the judgment. That's the judgment. They have to face themselves. They have to embrace what they've done. They have to own up to their part in all of this because we all have our parts. We all play our part in this. That's the judgment. Let me know when they come back though because the judgment ain't over. The universe ain't done with them yet. They ain't done with them yet. So if y'all want to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter, the name is The Red Pill Pusher. On Facebook, I have a group called The Brave Heart Experience. And if not, you ain't gotta. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. Moving on. Read number two. What to do? Read number two. What to do, do, do. Happiness, universe, people who chose. Read number two, happiness. What's the judgment being called on this relationship? What's the judgment, universe? <laughs> two of cups then came back out. <laughs> Some people know they done fucked up. <laughs> the lockdown then locked they ass down. You ain't had no choice but to face yourself in this lockdown. It's a lot of good that came from this quarantine. Quarantine. This quarantine tarot right here. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Six of wands. All right, then. What's the judgment?
judgment being called on this universe? What's the judgment being called on this connection universe? Somebody didn't. Hoo, 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 they, you know you fucked up, right? <laughs> What's the judgment universe? Justice. Justice came out for reading number one, too. Pluto in retrograde. I'm telling y'all. Tell me it's real. New beginnings. The fool card. Bottom of the deck. What we got? Seven of pentacles. The pentacles. All right, universe. Whoa. Can I ask the question first? Fake profile. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? No. Universe, what's the judgment being called on this connection? Listen, I didn't come to play with y'all. I swear for God, I just looked down at the bottom of this deck. I did not come to play with you all. Read number two, not today, not tomorrow, not next week. I didn't come for this. Universe. <laughs> what's the judgment being called on this connection, universe? Ooh-wee. What's the judgment being called on this connection? We got, we both need to grow and heal. We can't unite until we do. Hmm. See if we can keep it without the contradictions because this deck is full of them. Universe, what's the judgment being called on this connection? Ooh, too many, way too many, universe. What's the judgment being called on this connection, universe? What's the judgment being called on this connection? We will reconcile within a year. Don't fret. Don't just don't fret. And yep, I moved on. You should too. <laughs> I'm in love with someone else. I told you some contradictions. Okay. And What's this new beginning universe? We have the queen of pentacles. Let's get one more. What's this new beginning? What's this new beginning? Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. We have this queen of pentacles. We have the four of cups and we have the eight of wands. Seven of swords. Yep. Okay. I'm ready. Y'all ready? Because I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Someone, this is just like reading number one. Someone fucked up. Someone fucked up. Someone is watching you. Someone has created multiple, not just one, multiple fake profiles to watch you. Someone sees you as being, uh, like, giving all the love that you gave to them once upon a time, like, turning it back around, taking back your power, standing in your power, putting work into yourself, taking the little bit that you had left, whether, like, you really must have gone down, down to the depths of hell in order to be with this person, and you are now very happy. Cause I'm happy. You're very happy. The sun has come back out. You know, your skin clearing up. The stress is, is alleviating from your body, your joints. You, you just, you getting your old self back and you're on fire and you don't even know it. Your person is so afraid that you have moved on. Not that you are moving on. See, your person always knew your power, your, your beauty, your, your person always knew who the fuck you were. It was you who questioned it. And so whatever round this is, cause I don't think this is like a second coming. Another, no, I think this is like round 14 of breakups to makeups. It could be round 1,527.8. Year. It's been a lot of rounds in this. And your person is afraid that you will move on without them because they know that you are wanted. They know how you are desired by so many. They know what a catch you are. They know. And that's what scared them. It was your power, your nurturing heart, your spirit, your, your openness, your vulnerability, your integrity, your accountability, your giving, your you. That shit changed. 
started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. See, your person has been wanting to come to you. But I don't think your person really thought this was going to be the real deal. Holy fear. I don't think your person thought you were going to jump off that cliff. I think your person thought that they could continue to do whatever the fuck they wanted to do to you. Continue to bring all this pain, this heartache, this hell to you, this victim mentality, this, this, everything that you've settled for. That's why they brought it to you. You looked at every shit show and oh, look at how beautiful. Oh, look at everything I can do with this. You can't do shit with it. You, you turn in nothing into something, Pippin, that's a savior. Who you look like? You're not here to save nobody. They didn't want to be saved. You kept trying to bring happiness into their life. They did not want to be saved. Some people enjoy misery, man. And truth be told, you gave them permission to be miserable. They come with the woe is me story. You just woe is me. You whoop it up right with them. No, get your ass up. You settle. And that's what you've had to take responsibility for. They are afraid that you're going to tell them that you're in love with someone else. They're, gonna, they're afraid that you're going to tell them that you've moved on. They are afraid that they're not moving fast enough to be with you. They are afraid if they come towards you that you will reject them because of what they've done to you. That is a judgment that is being called upon this. Your person has to move past their fear. So what if I've moved on? I feel like you they, they may have moved on and battled 220 and you still went after them. Tables have turned. Now it's your time. And for some of you, you have moved on. You still think of this person and still have fond memories of this person and still hope that this person will get their shit together one day. But you have moved on. And the judgment that's been called is now they have to watch you moving on with someone else. But this judgment is twofold. Because you got to make a decision too. See, they have to face their fears. They have to come towards you regardless of the, the obstacles, the hurdles, the challenges, the people in their way. That's how the table shifted on them. Now you got to be real with yourself. Do you really want this? Do you? Because when you left, they weren't on that high horse. You see where they are right there? That ain't that ain't the divine feminine up there who's most of my readers. And a divine feminine can be man or a woman. They come back, they hug you, they they woo, 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 woo your own all night long, right? And get right back on, on that horse. See, they've got to recognize you as their equal. They've got to, they've got to make you a priority in their life. They've got to face their fears. They want a renewal with you. But do you want a renewal with them? Tables have turned, babe. That's the judgment. And I really believe this person is going to face their fears and come on back. What you going to say when they show up? Hmm? When they come a knock, knock, knocking, what is you going to say? You going to say I'm in love with someone else? Or <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? They are going to show up. I am going to surprise you with a special gift to show you how much you mean to me. What did I tell you? I am planning to pop up on your ass. I miss you. What did I tell you? I plan to right my wrongs. What did I tell you? I want you to chase me because I have to be in control. You gonna put them back up on that horse? Because that horse can carry both of y'all. You ain't even big. Look at you. Yes, enough room on that horse for her too. I can get a reef on my head and a horse. You can give me a horseback ride. I can get up on here. It's enough room. This ain't uh, Jack and Rose as a Titanic sink. No, I'm getting up on that door. 
Rose, scoot your ass on over. Scoot your little bit, Rose. I'm getting up there. This water is cold. It's enough for you both. Justice, balance. Do you really want this? Because if you do, when it comes back, you got to hold the, hold on to those boundaries because this person's going to be quick to do that razzle-dazzle, that switcheroo on you. That's You know, they, perf they perfected the art of the razzle-dazzle. Sprinkle a little sugar on that shit. Flip it all around. Hand this fool a spatula because you can bet your bottom dollar they're going to flip some shit on. Do you want this? Judgment is being called on you both. You put in so much work to rise above this toxicity. This person is immature. They know that you've stood with them. They know that you fought with them. They know what a gift you are. Do you know it? Hmm? Do you know it? This person may even come back like trying to take it up a notch. Now don't get me wrong. This person does care about you. Do not get it twisted. They do. This person is just, they don't know how to love. They are too afraid of love where fear or fear and love cannot coexist. Where one is, the other cannot be. This person is thriving in fear. Go on and lay down with them so you can get pregnant. This person coming back, but this person still has their burdens. What do you want? So I definitely feel like this person is going to reach out to you. Judgment's being called on this person and their fear. This person has got to become the alchemist in their own life to do that old razzle-dazzle on themselves. You switch a room, you got to shift from fear to love. You got to elevate from the devil card up into the lover's card. It's time to rise. This person should be sick of themselves and I feel like they are. They want a renewal with you. They want to come back to you. They want to be with you. They don't know how to properly love you. They see everything in you. What do you want? Maybe when you get clear on what you want and you embrace the judgment that's been called on you, I feel like they'll fall in line with whatever you choose if it's yes or no. This person wants to come back. Do you want them? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. So that's the judgment that's being called, y'all. This person. They got a good heart, but they are scared as shit. You like to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter. The name is The Red Pill Push. If you want to follow me on Facebook, I have a Facebook group called The Brave Heart Experience. If you don't want to follow me on shit, you ain't got to, but stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. Moving on. All right, universe. We on the last one. So, I'm looking for the cards. Okay. People who chose abundance, what's the judgment that's been called on this connection, universe? What's the judgment that's been called on this connection? World card, world card. I know my tribe members be like, world card. It's the world. We got King of Wands. Oh, you want to end something. What's the judgment being called on this connection, universe? What's the judgment being called on this connection, universe? Be as clear as possible. What's the judgment being called in this connection universe? You have seven of wands. One more. What's the judgment being called in this connection? Nine of swords. Bottom of the deck. King of pentacles. Somebody got to grow their ass up. All right. Universe, what's the judgment being called in this connection? Be as clear as possible. What's the judgment being called on this connection? Sorry, I ain't sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Bottom of the deck, we have destructive habits. All right, universe, what's the... Whoa, judgment being called on this connection. What's the judgment being called? What? The bouquet. Bottom of the deck, the anchor, 
And what's the judgment being called in this connection, universe? What's the judgment being called in this connection? I'm afraid I have lost you for good this time. <laughs> well, that's your fault. You have no more excuses, no more wasting time. I'm ready to be with you. What's the judgment being called on this connection, universe? One more. What's the judgment? What's the judgment being called on this connection? We have... I chose others when I should have chosen you. That was a mistake. Bottom of the deck, it's hard to be away from you, but I hurt you when you're near. It's hard to be away from you, but I hurt you when you're near. Whew. All right. So, judgment being called on this connection is I feel like y'all are gone and your person feels like you're gone. You know, I feel like your person was very flirty, very charismatic, um, like never really solidified this connection. Never really, never really quite, like never really took action to take it to the next level. Like it, you guys got to a point where I think in the beginning things were really good. There was, you guys may have been at a distance from one another, but when you got together, it was a lot of fun and a lot of happiness and a lot of bright moments. I feel like your person is reminiscing over those good moments right now, looking through your pictures. I feel like your person is truly having to embrace their destructive habits, how they tore this down. Cause I do feel like it was self-sabotage. Your person would invite you in then push you away. It's like when this person wanted to be bothered, you felt like you were the king of the world. But then when this person didn't want to be bothered or they were going through, cause I do feel like there's some depression here and a lot of anxiety. So maybe when your person was having those down moments, they would just ghost themselves. And it, it was a lot of highs and lows, but it was extremely stressful because your person was guarded to the possibilities of what this could be. And so I feel that you walked away. For some of you all, this could be a same sex connection, but I feel like you, you walked away and you were just like, I'm gonna stabilize myself. It's like your person, I feel like your person was, telling you that they were focused on their career or didn't have enough money or was trying to move up the ladder or the ranks or something like that. But in truth, this is deeper than that. Your person has some issues, some mental issues, and I'm not trying to be funny. Like your person has like a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of depression. Like your person was facing some darkness and it was like the shadow work that they were going through or this dark night of the soul that they were going through. It never ended. And it, it, that darkness engulfed this connection because there's a lot of blue in the first three cards, but overall, like when I look at the top row, for some reason that nine of swords to me in my eyesight is just like taking over the rest of those cards. And so um, let's get some clarity real quick. Nine of Swords. What is this about? You have the Magician. What's this is Nine of Swords about? Page of Cups. Nine of Swords about. Yeah, Death Card. Your person was keeping themselves from a transformation. Star Card. They were... Your person was refusing to heal. Plain and simple. On a physical and spiritual level. I feel like they would tiptoe into it and then like double dutch their ass right on back out of it. Like your person is extremely guarded even now. And so you had to stand up for yourself. And I feel like you worry about this person. You, I feel like to an, an extent, you know that there's something else going on here. Um, but it ended up coming out as a bunch of lies and a lot of self-sabotage and a lot of destructive habits that kept you all from anchoring. And so, like this card says, it's hard to be away from you, but I hurt you when you're near. So I feel like you had to do what was best for you. And your person is just like, they, they're in a sunken place. 
period and point blank. But for some reason, I'm feeling like it's of their own design. And they do have the power with that magician card to pull themselves up, but they got to drop these guards. Like, they won't let nobody in. Let me in now. Let me. They won't let nobody in. Nobody. They got all these secrets, all this stuff, all these things that they're ashamed of, all this. They're, they're an overanalyzer, an overachiever. But I don't feel like they've met some of their own personal goals and so they beat themselves up. But it's nothing. I feel like you tried to help them, but it became too much. It wasn't your burden to bear. And really, you can't make any apologies for standing up for yourself and standing in your power. And so your person, the judgment that's being called on this connection and, and specifically your person is that your person has to face their own hell. Like... I think you were trying to save them. And a lot of times, I talk about this a lot. Like a lot of times we try to rescue people from their darkness when their darkness holds the biggest, brightest gift for them. And so in truth, we hurt them because we're trying to save them from the very pain that they need or the very darkness that they need in order to grow, to realize that they can become the phoenix and rise again. So you, your person is having to do that. And that's the judgment called on this connection your person is ha they have to face their fears they have to look at why they self-sabotage in this situation or this connection face their fears and rise again and they have to stop pretending they have to remove the mask because i do feel like your person was pretending to be a king when they really weren't i feel like your person was pretending to be a lot of things that they truly weren't you know this charismatic charismatic outgoing person may have been like they may have been extroverted when they were out and about maybe at parties or maybe just even on like Facebook and shit. Like they always tried to be like the life of the moment, right? But that's not really who they are. And so it really threw you for a loop, like alley loop, right? Alley loop, like they got your ass. Yeah, so there's a lot, there was a lot of confusion, but there was no stabilization. And I feel like your person is a daydreamer. Your person wants to be something like your person wants to be something greater than they feel they currently are, but they don't want to take the journey to get there. And so it caught, yeah, for some of you all, this person may have even slept with others or cheated or something like that, or just not told you the truth about a situation. And, and really they didn't tell you the truth about themselves so there's so much about this person that you truly don't know but i feel like there was an intuitive nudge that you you did know you knew yeah with the book you knew something wasn't right and so you had to get grounded and rooted by yourself and so your person is is hoping that there's hope for this situation hoping that there's hope for reconciliation here but now you're confused because you don't know who this person truly was you don't know who this person really was. And this person, in order for you all to move this connection forward, this person has to tell you. This person has to come with some truth. I'm shocked the Ace of Swords didn't come out anywhere. This person has to bring the truth to you. And until they do, until they're truthful about themselves, whether it's with you or with the next person, they're never going to be abundant body mind and soul they're never going to have that they're all, always going to be stuck in that nine of swords energy because the confusion in your mind shows up as your life and this is a great example of that and they will stay in a state of confusion stay in that seven of cups energy stay in that fantasizing wanting to manifest knowing they have all the power but like blocking the way from themselves that your person is not only self-sabotaging this connection they're self-sabotaging their entire existence and that's the judgment they gotta get out of that bed and face them fears period so that's what i have for you all uh if you like to follow me on instagram and or twitter the name is the red pill pusher and on facebook i have a group called the brave heart experience and if you don't want to follow me on none of them platforms you ain't gotta but if you don't do shit else stay down y'all it's a marathon <laughs>